Hey, how you doing? Rich Lafferty here with Rich Lafferty Riding Schools. Just a brief tip. Um, you know, I see it with adults. I see it with kids. I see it with a lot of different riders at a lot of different skill levels. Um, but it's a common issue. Even something myself, I constantly tell myself to, uh, to do. Is they don't look far enough ahead. And it's not just in a straightaway, but the first part is, you know, when you come out of a turn, you want to be looking out of the top of your goggles to the next turn. You gotta look as far ahead as you possibly can. A lot of people only divert their attention to about a bike length in front of them. Well, that presents a lot of issues. It's, it limits their speed, and obviously obstacles sneak up on them. When they sneak up on them into that you know, bike, bike length, a lot of times it happens too quickly, um, and you can't you know, divert from the situation or adjust as needed. So, so, for example, it could be a log, a rut where people have been getting stuck, uh, anything like that. A lot of people just focus on the 14 or 16 inches um, of trail that everybody uses, and that, therefore that's all they look at. You gotta get in the habit of hooking point A where you are to point B. So by doing so, you can pick better lines and, and avoid bumps, roots, rocks, stuff that you, you can avoid um, uh, that rob momentum. Also, it's, it's, a, it's very crucial in a turn. In a turn, a lot of people come in and like I've talked about, they pull the clutch in, slam on the brake, and they put, when the, the guy that pulls the clutch in, slams on the brake, he is definitely the guy that most times focuses right on the apex of the turn. And he comes in, slides sideways, and, and explodes the turn. It looks fast, but it's not always the fastest way. But as far as your eyes, as you come rolling in, depending on how fast the turn is, you gotta be looking far ahead, at least more than one bike length ahead. Now I know that's tough in some tighter situations, but always gotta be as your bike's rolling in, you're looking through the turn and accelerating. <clears throat> the more you look through the turn, the more prone you're gonna be to be consistent with the throttle, which also helps carry better sense of momentum. Looking ahead is something that needs to be looked at. Now if you have a little kid, um, I've done it um, in the past with some kids and it's something I've learned from basketball players. Basketball players go down the court and they don't actually dribble and look at the ball, but they're supposed to be looking out at their opponents. They have special glasses taped the bottom so they can't see out of the bottom of the glasses. I've done the same thing with goggles. Put a piece of tape across the bottom. Helps that kid, remind that kid that he's got to keep looking up. Now don't, therefore I know he's going to be looking down sometimes, but he still needs to remind him to look up, look up. I've seen people put neck rolls underneath their neck to hold their head up. So it's more about just holding your head up and looking ahead, looking ahead, but constantly looking ahead. The faster you go, the further ahead you must look. This is Rich Lafferty, Rich Lafferty Riding Schools. Thank you.